I'm very proud of Dallin the way he stepped up. You know, it's it's pretty it's a pretty big moment for him stepping up early in the game, but I was expecting nothing less. So I know you and Trey both talk about you know how you're just happy you know, to, to help the team win, but I know it can't be easy to try to find the rhythm when you're not the guy out there giving 20, 25 carries a game. But how do you and Trey handle that? I mean, it, it, I know it's difficult, but uh, is that something that uh, is it still about Tony or something that you know just you have to accept what it is? How, how do you handle that? Um, it's pretty much all of Coach Alfred to like whatever he feels like. So, I mean, when we both get in, we try to make the best of what we can do, but we just pretty much congratulate each other and coach each other up and stuff like that. It, might, it seems like the running game is more versatile this year. You guys are running out of more formations, I think. How are you liking that? It's not just shotgun all the time. You've got your pistol, you've got the eye. How are you liking that? Um, uh, I'll answer this. Um, I just think it's good for us, like running back and the offense, to prove like we can run the ball too instead of just passing. You know we got one of the best quarterbacks in the country, so I just feel like it's good for like the Buckeyes overall. Is it difficult to go from one formation to the next, like as a running back carrying the ball? Is it difficult to go from the shotgun to the pistol to to the out formation to like single uh, back? Like for you? Nah, for me, no, not really. I don't think it's is a lot. So. No. Did you uh, advocate to try and stay in that second half, get a few more carries, or were you good to come out at halftime on Saturday? Um, it was it was all up to Coach Alfred. I mean, he told me to just stay ready in case I had to go back in, so I was just on standby. But I I wanted to see how Dallas would play and like get more carries in the game. And CJ said when he first came out there, he had to he did calm him down. He didn't say had to. Yeah. How did you see him on the sidelines right before he went in? What were kind of he, he admitted he was nervous, but like how did you kind of deal with him on the sidelines? Uh, I basically just told him like just relax and just go out there and just play, like have fun with it. What about uh, TC? Obviously going in there making that big run, scoring a touchdown. Only lost his black stripe, you know, a couple of days before the game, yeah. and then to do that, you know, how excited were you seeing uh, him doing that out there? I was very excited. I was just just proud of him, you know. I feel like everybody else was too, but like he. He uh, run hard in practice too, so it wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me to see it in the game. Did he remind you of yourself in 2020 wearing that 28 out there? Yeah. Just kind of, like people like, watch this guy all of a sudden bouncing off the tackles? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What on film sticks out to this Wisconsin defense that's statistically a top 10 defense? Um, they just, they're very tough, very tough team. What is a goal that you guys are trying to achieve against such a a tough defense, as you just said. Uh, we just gotta come play tough too. That's all. That's all. It's to it. Tough on tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're an Ohio guy, Maya. So what do you remember about Ohio State Wisconsin games back in the day when you were growing up? I mean, is this like a game that kind of sticks out in your mind as being a little um, bit of a rivalry? I mean, it, it really it was kind of back and forth there for, for a few years. I'm um, growing up. I didn't really watch Ohio State, so I don't really know much about the Ohio State Wisconsin game. I can't really who give you much you, on that. Who were you watching growing up? You weren't watching Ohio State. Um, I was pretty much watching like NFL, just playing Madden growing up. <laughs> Man, uh, uh, Luke said you told the team something in a little pre pre practice meeting or whatever today about play play every play or play every game like it's your last. And so can you can uh -huh. you go over that? What what inspired you to to give them that message? Um, just like based off my teammates, like not being able to practice, like yeah. they. Like when now on days they didn't expect to go out, so I was I just told the team like just practice every play like it's the last because you'll never know when it's gonna be a last play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That formation, you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why it. do you like it? It's just a lot of power. <laughs> can you can you sense it when you're on the field? I mean, can you actually almost feel that power? Oh yeah, definitely. How definitely. does it, how does it how does it show itself? I guess. Um. Just when we just rock off the ball and just get some push, I just be like, all right, it's time to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mayan, you kind of took over in the fourth quarter of that Notre Dame game. Do you relish the fact that this is another one of those tough physical kind of matchups where you could be needed to do that again? Um, I mean, if it comes down to it, it would be, I guess it would be like cool, but that's not what I'm planning to do. I'm just, just out there to help the team win. Uh, what with uh, Kate Stover? He had a great game receiving wise on Saturday. What, what does he do in practice that makes him stick out now that he's moved up from tight end? Uh, what does he do to stick out? Um, I mean, 
the same thing, same stuff you see on the game, same thing you do every day at practice. So you just you just practice like a pro. So you show up on game day. Do you see his leadership kind of transcends the thing because he's obviously the captain and things like that. Then he goes out and Brian Day said he makes plays when his number's called. Uh, just from your vantage point, he's had his feet and a flight. Um, I guess he just like try to set an example for the, like the other tight ends to like uh just make a play with your number call. So yeah. Frank, can you sense uh, the crowd getting into it when you have the ball in your hands? I mean, with your running style, et cetera, can you do you ever pay attention to the crowd noise? I mean, can you sense them um, liking your physical approach when in fact it calls for it? I mean, a little bit, a little bit. Like some plays, some plays it'll stick out to me, but some plays it won't. I don't yeah. pay no attention. But some can, plays, yeah. Can Can you reveal what your mindset is when the ball is in your hands? What I mean, from the standpoint of you know running through guys, if that's what it takes. Just what, what, what's your mindset? Um, I just tell myself to just play like it's your last play. Make the best of what you can do. I just do what you can do. Make the best of it. Yeah. TC obviously had a, a big game, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter a little bit. Mm -hmm. What kind of uh, things does he like bring to the room, and just what have you seen out of him since he's back here? Um, he learns very quick. Like he a quick learner. He's he stepped up big, so I'm very proud of him for that. A lot of people have kind of compared your running styles. Have you guys like you know been able to you know, kind of compare that yourself at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Cause he run he run very hard. He run run hard at practice. So yeah. What do you think that he shows in practice that? You um, just toughness, just being tough and like knowing the plays. So. Your pork right. chop, what's question, like short rib, what, what is he? Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they was calling him baby chop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hey, last thing, uh, it was, it was quite important for Dallin Hayden to come on, right? Yeah. I mean, because we all saw, uh, Travion won series and he's out of the game. You're the number one guy. Dallin's a backup, and just how impressed, I guess, are you by what Dallin's been able to do in a few short months here? Um, it's very, it's very, he, he impressed me a lot, because it's, it's a lot, like yeah. our offense, it's a lot to learn, and he, like, learned it very quick, and he, when he got in the game, did his job. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.